Hey guys, welcome back to Small Town Bass. And last week we shot a video of me installing my Chris Carson Marine intake stuffer kit. Um, if you hadn't seen that yet, go check that out. I'll put a card at the end of this video. You can go check out how I went about doing that. After the video, I had a good conversation with Chris over at Chris Carson Marine. And uh, courtesy of him, he has sent me another set of stuffers and another set of his composite reeds. Now I installed the composite reeds on my motor early this spring because I had a busted reed valve in my motor. If you haven't seen that video, I'll also put a card at the end of this one. You can go check that out and see how I diagnose my motor with bad reeds. You can do it from home. It's one of the simplest things to diagnose and fix yourself. Hopefully, cross your fingers, you don't have any catastrophic damage when a reed valve fails. Luckily, I didn't. So I was good to go. I ordered Chris Carson Marine Composite Reeds. I installed those in my boat. And I'm talking about, baby, that thing can, can produce some real power now. Um, I was blown away by the difference that it made. These things right here really do live up to their name. They, they give me a smoother idle. Well, first off, it starts extremely well. Then we have a smoother idle. Then we have a very, very smooth top end. Lots of low end power, smooth power band throughout the entire RPM range of my motor now with these composite reeds. So thanks to them, what we are gonna do, because I never shot that in my video, it was raining whenever I installed these in my motor. I had to get it done, couldn't have the camera out in the rain. So courtesy of Chris, on a spare intake manifold that I have here with original reed blocks and original stainless steel reeds, we are going to install the Chris Carson composite reeds right here for you. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm gonna go over all the fine details with you on what you need to do when installing these and how to do it properly from home. You don't have to be a marine mechanic to do this, guys. It's pretty simple, so y'all stick around. We're gonna jump into it now. This is a spare manifold I have here, so I can do this on the bench top. So some of you are gonna do it like this, some of you are gonna do it in the, on the motor, like I did in the last video, but either one, whichever suits you best. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect your reed block housings from your intake manifold, and all that's done by 3 16 Allen head bolts that are throughout this intake manifold. You're gonna to wanna to remove every single one of them. All right guys, so now that you've got all your bolts removed, you're gonna to wanna to remove your reed blocks from the gasket and the intake manifold. Now in this case, I bought this used spare intake manifold with all the reed housings, all the reed assemblies still intact. This is an old gasket. They're probably gonna be on there pretty tight. I'm probably gonna damage this gasket getting these off. So whenever you order your kit, you wanna go ahead and order an intake manifold gasket while you're at it. You can get all those parts from chriscarsonmarine.com. All right guys, so if you run into this issue where a lot of your gasket material is left on the reed assembly after you peel them off of your intake manifold, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take a razor blade, and you're gonna to wanna to lay it flat against one of the flat surfaces, and you're gonna to wanna to start to shave that gasket material off without digging into your reed. Um, it's pretty simple. It, it may take you a minute. Just be gentle with it and, uh, and scrape it all off nice and clean. Um, and then you're gonna wipe everything down once you get it clean before you start pulling the reeds off. You don't wanna get any trash onto your rubber seal. This is a rubber molded block so it's got a rubber over mold to create a uh, airtight seal when the reeds close and you definitely don't want to damage that so once you get the gasket material cleaned off just wipe everything down all right guys so while i'm doing this let me take a minute and tell you about the website so if you go to chriscarsonmarine.com and start looking through this website you're going to find all kinds of things that you didn't even know were existed for your outboard so you've got um, composite reeds for high performance um, 
race motors for uh, Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude. You've got all the top brands, um, four pedal, five pedal, uh, seven pedal reeds. You've got um, stuffer kits. Um, you can also get the gasket kits and anything else you might need to improve the performance of your outboard. In my case, I had a broken stainless steel reed in my crankcase, which could have easily led to catastrophic failure. If it's an instance like that, Chris Carson Marine does rebuilds. You can ship them your power head. They can rebuild it, restore it back to factory specs, improve the performance. They can do all the modifications in their machine shop and give you exactly what you're looking for. You don't really have to repower. You can send it to Chris Carson Marine and get a full rebuild. So that's one of the things they offer here. The best thing to do is just go in the website, check them out. Most of these things can be installed by yourself at home. So just check them out, see what they got. You might find exactly what you're looking for. Once you get your reed assembly cleaned off, ready to go, um, it is okay to pull these screws out with a power uh, screwdriver. Do not, I repeat, do not put them back in with an electric screwdriver. Never. You always want to torque these down by hand. You only get one shot at it and you don't want to over torque them. I'm sure Merck has a spec for it, but you can get a good feel of it by hand. Once you've snugged that lock washer down, it is good to go. Don't go any further than that. Got my reeds off. I'm gonna inspect this rubber over molding on my reed block just to make sure there's no damage to it. And it's good to go. I don't have any strip threads. Everything is intact. I'm okay with installing my composite reeds now. So I'm gonna open up my Chris Carson composite reeds. This is how they come in the mail. You get a business card, a sticker. They're wrapped in bubble wrap and they're rubber banded together. So what you wanna do is you just wanna put on one at a time. As you take apart your reed assembly, you wanna install your composite reeds every time. Don't go uh, mixing parts up, misplacing things, laying them around, um, being careless. Just, just don't be careless when you do this. Uh, these are high performance parts and they require some high performance care when you're installing them. So just be mindful of what you're doing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect this reed. I'm going to check for any leading edges and make sure everything is nice and smooth before I install. I don't want any burrs or sharp edges sticking up um, off this reed. In this case, I don't. These are made extremely well. Uh, it looks like they're laser cut and it doesn't get any more precise than that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to lay it right over that reed block and make sure everything lines up just like it's supposed to. And I mean, they're already, they're just about already sealed on there. Now you're going to get your, your reed stop. I'm just going to lightly seat every one of these screws by hand. You do not want to use a power tool for this. And I'm just going to take them down nice and easy. I'm not snugging anything down yet. Um, I'm going to make sure everything lines up clean, exactly where it's supposed to be before I give them the final torque and uh, fix it down for good. And easy does it, just one screw at a time. This is more time consuming than disassembling and reassembling the intake manifold side of that motor. So just make sure you have a little bit of time on your hands. Sit back, take your time, enjoy yourself. You're gonna improve the performance of your outboard by doing this. Um, you will be blown away by how easy it starts and how smooth the idle is and how snappy. I mean, that thing will respond when you hit the throttle. Anyway, so I'm checking, everything looks like it's lined up perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and snug these down. I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna work my way out 
from the two middle screws. You don't want it to bow up in the middle. You always start in the middle. That's nice and snug there. Go back over them. Make sure they're all tight. And that's it, guys. You want to do that for every single one of these. Be nice and easy with it. And when you get done, you're going to install your stuffers behind them. Go check out that video how I did that. It's pretty simple. You're going to see a massive increase in, in performance by doing this. And this isn't just for Mercury Motors. This is for all two-stroke outboards for the most part. So go check him out at chriscarsonmarine.com. See what he's got for you. He may have exactly what you're looking for. And until next time, you keep on fishing.